Hi guys, welcome to Camping Begins. Uh, this week I've just got a little demo and unboxing of a few ideas we've had since we've started going out camping. Learned a few more lessons. Um, first one is cooking. What do you what do you cook with? Um, we tried different sorts of barbecues, grill pans, things like that. Um, this is where we ended up. These are cheap, simple, really easy, standard camping stove. This particular one comes from uh, Kmart. It's $20. Everywhere else, they're $40, $50. They come in a nice, handy little carry case. This is a butane one. It actually comes, what you need to use is a little can, butane aerosol can. Got a little nick in there. I'll show you a close up. Basically slots in, turns on, and there it is, it's on. So simple. If you're, um, if you're warming, you know, pots, things like that, great for a kettle, we use it all the time. Next level up from that, that we decided to go with, it's the same concept. It's another one of those butane things. However, this comes with a built-in pan. It's actually awesome and it's changed our camping life. Uh, this particular one is from Anaconda. They're not the cheapest thing in the world. Bear in mind these are only $20. This thing comes in at about $120. You can usually get it on sale. It's almost exactly the same concept. It's got a snap down for the gas bottle. Turn on, lock. It's absolutely great. Keep the heat in with the lid. Comes with its own pan. These go in the dishwasher when you get back and you know for breakfast etc we've got bacon eggs sausages all all in the one thing hash browns we're cooking it all in the same thing it's keeping red hot with this so easy when you're done you know you give it a wipe down and the whole thing just sits back in here really easy changed our life so easy to store pack up set up they're actually really good uh, on the note of the gas this is a box of the gas from Kmart. Everywhere else, it's about five, six, maybe seven dollars for a three or four pack of the cans. This is 12 cans for $12. Kmart, buying in a box, it's a dollar a can. Cans are all recyclable, box is recyclable. It's really good. Okay, so next we're on to uh, just a quick tip about fresh water. The first few times we went out camping, we had various bottles with us. I even had this collapsible I can only describe it as a water bladder tank. It was so heavy, it was it was ridiculous. Um, we finally sort of had a bit of a breakthrough when we went on a long road trip. We got this, uh, this is a freshwater jerry can. And essentially it carries 20 liters. You can get them from anywhere, more than enough for two people for, you know, three days. Uh, we found anyway. You can get these most places this particular one is uh from anaconda again it's uh the june brand which is their own brand look they're about 25 dollars uh usually on sale you can get them anywhere between you know 25 and 20 dollars it cut it comes with a little plug here this tap is actually this tap is separate but these taps are about five six maybe seven dollars in the same aisle um, so that's that's actually quite invaluable um, and this has been absolutely great for us so fresh water for me this is the way to go 20 litre jerry can okay so next thing we've got is various bits of kitchen utensils things that I was just getting sick of taking out of the house before we go camping going in the kitchen make sure we've got a knife got a bread knife got salt and pepper, got a pan, got all these, you know, got the, the, the tongs for cooking, all these various different things, a pair of scissors, a tea towel, all those kind of stuff, um, you know, the spatulas and things. So what I did was this weekend, I thought I'm going to go and I'm going to do a haul. I went to Ikea, Kmart, what was the other place? Um, reject shop and just basically grabbed basic essentials. So they're going to stay in this box. The box was from Ikea. I think it was eight dollars with a lid i got three or four of them I'm gonna put various things in them and also from ikea is we bought uh so bought a basic set of pans so we've got there two frying pans a smaller one and a large one and then i've got 
a pot or you know a small you know for baked beans or soups or things like that those i think those are seven dollars for two pans and i think this was again i think maybe seven dollars for this one pan so under fifteen dollars i've got a set of three pans i'm done for cooking you know that's that's just for this device um other little things that i got while i was in ikea um which i'll show you so i got a full knife set uh, a paring knife uh, you know a, a knife for the meat or whatever and then you've got this sort of bread knife it's got a little serrated edge on again seven bucks from ikea it's just going to save me rooting through the kitchen and keep you know keep it all together and then what else is in here so i'll just show you a little bit of a cross thing a few weeks ago it was my birthday and um my beautiful wife got me this roll light set knives and forks etc really good idea it rolls up really handy you can keep it with the camping gear look the biggest problem with this is and we found out to the weekend is they're just not good um i mean they just they just you know they just bend you try and use them they just they are literally terrible um so i thought we'll, we've had enough of that and you know this wasn't cheap either this was like 25 dollars from kmart she tells me um so we're getting rid of that I might use the roll. Um, went to IKEA. You've got all all the knives and forks. They're all on the uh, on the top, so you can touch them, you can feel them. I'll do a close up. I'm not even going to pronounce that. But this particular is a basic stainless steel set from IKEA. It was ten dollars, and I think it's going to be good. I tried them all. They're really hard. The um, the knife's got a really good serrated edge on for if you're cutting a steak or you know anything like that. You can also use it for spreading. You know, ten dollars again. It's great. We're done. That's my camping gear there. Um, from there, uh, I think from there we went to Kmart, and IKEA did a, a similar set to this. But this is Kmart's basic. You know, you've got a spatula, you've got the slotted spoon, you've got a non-slotted spoon, you've got a pasta thing, and you've got. Is this a ladle? Maybe. Um, this set was five dollars at Kmart. Again, that's going to stay in here now. I don't need to go in the kitchen, start looking through the drawers and finding everything. Uh, I had a pair of scissors, $1.50. I got some tongs, $1.50. Kmart again. Easy. They're a different colour than all the rest of our other stuff. I know that when they come out of the dishwasher, they need to go straight back in here. Same with, I got a set of tea towels, oven gloves, you know, things like that. This set, again, I think it was $5, maybe $6. Kmart, the black and white. We don't have black and white in the house. I know when these go through the wash, they need to go back in here because that's for camping. A um, couple of little, I got many of these at the reject shop. We used to have all ours in uh, glass jars. This is just raw sugar for teas and coffees. Um, but these are plastic ones with a screw lid. I just thought I'd change to plastic. They're $1.50 rather than, you know, carrying a glass jar around. Potentially it smashes, causes some damage. Um, and then just a, a couple of little tips, really. Um, one is we took we took bottles of cooking oil, bottles of olive oil, etc. Um, somebody showed us this tip: get a spray can. It's just so much easier. You can spray it in the pan. You don't use a lot. It doesn't leak. It's awesome. You can get canola oil, vegetable oil. You can get uh, olive oil, whatever you need. Get a spray can. It's easier. Washing up liquid. Uh, we bought an Earth Choice one. This one's got a click lock sealable lid on it. Um, it's Earth Choice, so it's friendly. It's grey water compatible. You can just wash all your things, and you can, you know you don't need to be worried about a that it leaks in your box, and also you don't need to be worried that this is going to cause any harm to wildlife or nature because it's all plant based. Easy peasy. This was a little tip. We tried a few salt and pepper jars, but we actually went to buy the Saxo ones. They've got a closed lid, so you can open and close it. They travel so well, and uh, with the salt particularly, we just put a couple of slivers of rice in there just to take, you know, to stop it getting damp. Um, you know, they don't leak anyway. Once it's closed, they don't leak. It's simple. It's fine. It's really good. Um, those are the tips this week, just for the camp kitchen, really, and just this will make life easier. We've got the box. It's all going to store in the box. 
obviously I'll take these out of the package and I can keep it all together in there we'll go you know I've got plates and saucers and cups and things to go in wine glasses of course and that's all just going to stay there so fingers crossed that helps you guys out a little bit do it sooner rather than later it'll just save you a bit of time thanks for watching see you next time bye